I'm Dave Ford. In this screencast I'm going to show how you add a contents page using Word 2007. Now this works if we've got a document and as we've gone through the document we've applied headings, so heading 1s, heading 2s, heading 3s etc. to denote headings, subheadings and sub subheadings. And if you've done that we can then automatically create a contents page based on that uh, information. So what I've got here is I've got a document, if I quickly scroll up and down you can see it's quite a long document, quite a lot of pages, uh, all of those headings and subheadings have been properly created using uh, the heading tool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the references tab and then we're going to look at table of contents. Now there's some pre-built ones which you could just choose and it would put them in or if you want to have more control over how it looks you can go to insert table of contents that will bring up this box here and we've got various things that we can then change so we've got the option here of taking out the page numbers okay but you would usually want to keep them in uh, we can right align the page numbers or we can have them appearing next to the text usually I right align them the tab leader option is the, what appears between the text and the number so it's by default dotted I could have it as a line, I could have it as uh, none, so there's no information. I'm going to stick with the line. Um, we can have different formats, so you can change to different sort of styles um, which are pre-built into the uh, into Word. Personally I'm going to go for from template, and what that will do is it will pull through the same formatting that I've used in the document. And here where it says show levels, uh, it says at the moment 3, so it will show me a heading 1, heading 2, heading 3 but if I increase that it will also include any heading 4s that I have and you can go up to as many as you like Okay. I'm then going to go to the options button and here it will show me uh, the different uh, headings so heading 1 will be uh, one, the first level within the table, heading 2 the second level etc and if I just scroll down here you'll see that by default it's also put the title in. Now I don't want my title to actually appear in my uh, contents so I'm just going to delete it and it will then remove uh, it from there. So I'll click on OK and if I go to modify uh, I could go in and actually change the way that the, the, the thing is formatted. So TOC1 is table of contents 1 so I could make it so that uh, they're bigger or different colours etc and I could go through uh, each of the different levels uh, and you can change the format here by using the modify. I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment and click on OK and what does it will do is it will put in my table of contents for me as we can see there and the beauty is if I uh, hover the mouse over a section I can uh, hold my finger on the control key, I can click on it and it will drop me straight to that uh, part of the resource. So it's a very quick and easy way of putting in a table of contents. Now if I go through and I make any edits to the document I can then come back and very quickly and easily I can right click on my table, I can go to update field, I can update the entire table, click on OK and it will then make the changes to it. I haven't got to go back and manually alter the table of contents. It's a very very useful tool from an accessibility point of view because it's much easier for a learner to navigate through the document as well as saving you a lot of time and making your resources um, a, a lot more professional looking.